Good morning. Some of you may know me from some of my schools, Ebner, McAuliffe Heights, and Juniata. And some of you may know me from the band holiday concert back in December. And some of you may know me from Band Bash, or you might not have met me before. If you are just meeting me, my name is Scott Pappel, and I am an elementary band director with the Altoona School District. So if you have Mr. Hillard or Miss Hall for lessons and you haven't met me, it's wonderful to meet you. So today we're going to have an online flute lesson and you have some materials um, on a PDF sheet that hopefully you have. And if you don't have that sheet, I'm going to put it up next to me in this space whenever we play. So on that sheet, uh, the first thing that we do when we practice is our pre-warm-up. And for flute, I usually like to start with just the head joint by itself. And maybe you've done that with your band director. And when we do our pre-warm-up, we take our right hand and we put our right hand over the end of the flute's head joint. We make sure that we have good playing posture. Our feet are flat on the floor. We're going to sit up nice and straight. And we are going to count to eight inside our head. On the fourth count, we're going to take a full breath. And then on counts five through eight, we are going to blow a steady air stream and produce a flute head joint sound. And that will sound like this. One, two, three, And we're going to do that three times. So if you'd like to join me, one, two, three. One, two, three. And let's do that one more time. One, two, three. When we're playing the head joint sound, we want to keep it as steady as possible. After we do our pre-warm up, we are going to put our head joint and assemble the rest of the flute. So we'll put it onto the, the body and foot. On our lesson sheet, our next stop is to play some long tones. And long tones are where we focus on just making a beautiful sound. You don't have to worry too much about fingerings, although if you forget some fingerings, now is a good time to tell you that on the PDF sheet, if you're looking at the same sheet I'm looking at, all of the fingerings that you need for this lesson are written on a fingering chart at the top of the sheet. So, let's do some long tones. I am going to set a metronome to provide a steady click for us on this video. When you play, you should count to four inside your head and take a full breath on count four. I will let the metronome give us four clicks when we're playing this right now. Now that we are all warmed up, it's time to practice some articulation and to do some drills on our eighth notes and quarter notes. So I am looking at number three on our online PDF sheet. And for number three, you have some letters in little square boxes. We will play each of those letters twice. The first time, 
we're going to pat the rhythm on our leg like this. And the second time, we will play the rhythm on our instruments. We have a very cool little backing track prepared for you. It has some guitars and some keyboards and some drums to help you maintain a steady beat. So this is number three, the articulation and eighth note drill. One way that we can become a better flute player is to make sure that we have the smoothest possible connection between all our notes on the flute. And so that is the purpose of number four on our online lesson sheet. This is an exercise where we start with only a single finger on the flute. So we're starting with the note C and we're going to gradually add fingers going this direction to our right on our flute and as we do that we want to try to make the sound blend seamlessly into the next note with no gaps or no bumps at all and that's what those little curved lines mean over the notes if you remember from our lessons in school those are called slurs and those mean that we do not tongue we just continue the air in a smooth unbroken stream this is number four and it should be marked first octave slurs on your sheet I will set a metronome to help us keep a steady tempo. Once again, I will give us four beats before we play, and we need to breathe together on beat four. It is okay for any of these exercises to practice them without this video track. If there's something that's giving you difficulty, feel free to turn off the video track to slow it down or to play just a small spot if you're having difficulties. Remember, all the fingerings for all of these exercises are located back at the beginning of this online lesson practice sheet. Now we come to the time in the lesson where it's time to play some songs. You might even want to find a parent at home or a brother or sister or somebody else who lives in your house with you and play these songs for them because it's always fun to play for an audience or you can just play for fun for yourself. Our first song is one that you might remember from our concert back in December. This is called Hot Cross Buns. And remember, it has a repeat sign at the end. So when we get to the end of the song, we will be going back and repeating it. You will hear four clicks 
before we start this song. song that you probably remember because we've done this in school as well. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb. And note that on your online lesson sheet, there is no repeat sign at the end of Mary Had a Little Lamb. So this one just gets played through once. Once again, you will hear four clicks before we start the track. being with me today for playing along on our online flute lesson. Hopefully you had some fun and we as your band directors, we can't wait to get back and see you in person at school. But until then, please stay safe, please stay happy, please stay healthy, continue to practice your instrument and we'll see you soon.